Roger is speaking to the second and third generation that have been living in this place, mm -hmm. and it's almost like he's scolding them. If you want blessings on your cattle, your food, the things that you value, and your children after you, mm. remember to take care of those that have less. Okay? We have these ideals. We're human. No human being ever lives up to the ideals that they, they hold in their heart. They always fall short. Roger, anybody else that's living at that time. But the beauty of all of this is that these ideals are still a thread in the American society. And that's the hard part, is trying to live up to these ideals that were established 300 years ago. Year after year, generation after generation, somebody is failing. But the quote still rings true. If you want the blessings, don't forget about the people that have less. I've always thought that America is a paradox, that, that two conflicting ideas and two conflicting histories are, are simultaneously true. Mm -hmm. And we have to be comfortable living with that conflict and talking about and understanding that conflict in order to move forward. As soon as somebody comes along and says, no, there's no conflict, this is who we are and everything is resolved, that's, that's, those are the most dangerous ideas. It's neglecting human nature. Mm -hmm. It really is. Because human beings go out there and they do things. And there's motiva as many motivations as you can imagine with human beings. Some people are just greedy. And some people are altruistic, utopia-loving. You know, mm -hmm. They just want everything to be peaceful and, and beautiful. And in between those two are as many different ideas as there are people. And if we have this one thread of ideal that everybody can look at and say that's what we want at least we can still work towards it.